Hey, what it do, family? Hey, listen, welcome to the Breakfast and Bud Morning Show. It's your girl. Tony it is the Breakfast and Bud Morning Show out this mug, and I appreciate everybody for showing up. Listen, today is the 9th, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever it is, the 9th, it is the second week of December. If you do not have your tree up, you are wrong. <laughs> you feel me? What the fuck going on? If you don't got your tree up by now, you are wrong. You're supposed to put it up after Thanksgiving. You late. Go get that bitch. You feel me? Go get it right now. You need to have the motherfucker up. You feel me? You got to put it up. Hey, man, shout out to everybody in the chat. I appreciate everybody for tapping in. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I need to mention this morning before we get started. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Shout out to everybody who's been on the streams. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing React Miss for 30 days. We're in day nine right now. And so far, I have not ran out of gas. Um, we also are doing Vlogmas on Bella and Toot. I know it's been a while since we posted on the channel. Go over there and show love to the personal channel. I'm telling you, dog, it's, 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 it's a good time over there. We've been having a great, great time over there so make sure that you go ahead and catch up on all nine days well all eight days so far vlogmas uh, we dropped vlog nine today so make sure you go over there second of all we got a viral paint and sip that's coming on i'm going to make sure that i put the dates up here so if you want to do it make sure that you have your canvases your paints and things like this look it don't require a lot you know what i'm saying go ahead and do some shit with the family too as well get the kids some canvases and stuff like that you know what i'm saying do whatever you do whatever you need to do you know what i'm saying uh to do it hold on one second um who is this who the fuck is this who the fuck is this y'all know who this is who the fuck is this hold on for a second um oh shit <laughs> guess i got a new phone nigga you know i got a new phone hold on you know I got a new phone machine, and I thought it was you too. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up, motherfucker? Hey, I was like, I was like, hold on for a second, cause you know that I don't be know to work this iPhone shit, bro. <laughs> Hey, bro, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why you you needed to call in here. Hey, congratulations on the win, bro. Hey, who next? Who next? <laughs> Hold on, man, because you breaking up on this shit. Say it again. Oh, yeah. Hold on, y'all. This day's your husband. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, between you and me, I should be going, like, in February. I should okay. be rumbling in February. No, nah, congratulations on the... Hey, man, they, gonna, they be sleeping on, this, on that left, boy. That's three in a row with the same... Channel. With the same left. Hey, listen, you got the... um. I need the full fight, though. Where can I see it at? I got you. I'm going uh, to get... I'm going uh, to... They're going to send you the link for the full fight. Yeah, I need the full fight, bro. I need the full fight because we finna be uh, watching a whole bunch of shit. Uh, me and Drip set. We going to do it and shit like that. But nah, hell yeah. Congratulations on the win. Congratulations on the subs on YouTube. Congratulations on your motherfucking... Uh, uh, on your goal on Instagram, bro. Just keep going. And I was happy to see you uh, drop that poetry t on, that, on this last uh, video. I was wondering when you was going to incorporate that, bro. You got to. You got to. I was calling for real, for real. Fuck all that. I was calling just to let you know uh, that I love you. Like, I know I've been busy than a motherfucker. Like, real, real, real bad. Um, she has been a whole bunch, a lot of shit going on. But for the positive, though, at least it ain't nothing bad. But it's just been a whole bunch, a lot of shit going on. Um, so... Bro, I see what bro, I see what you're doing. We already, nigga, we didn't talk about this off camera. We know what the grind dictates. You feel me, Shawty? Like, nigga, I see what the hell you got going on. Keep going, bro. I just, I'm just letting you know. I definitely take accountability on my end for for being so fucking. No, don't take no accountability for working, bro. It hurt a nigga feelings when a nigga see you not doing shit. Every single day I see you post some, some content. Every single day I see you training, bro. I can never get upset about no shit like that. My nigga, I want you to keep going. You feel what I'm saying? I need you to keep going because you looking good. You know what I'm saying? You you look you look you look in, in incredible shape, bro. And it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Every fight you getting better and better. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, man. Shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh dead ass serious Deja too. I be telling I'm always on her shit. I'm always on her page but nah and today is your birthday right yeah, happy birthday to you <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday jay what you gonna do for your birthday man go to fuck to sleep you finna go you finna get some rest and shit i'm going to sleep today that's it that's it 
Yes. You got to get up and come on a little bit later. We going to jump on a little bit later just for the react miss time. Jump on a little bit later so we can celebrate a little bit. We going to probably I'm going to probably be on about 8 o'clock. It used to be about 8. I don't give a fuck. You know I got you. Yeah. yeah, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Let's at least sing happy birthday to you, huh? We in the same time zone, right? Yeah, hell yeah. That nigga said we in the same time zone, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's it though. But congratulations, bro. Happy birthday, and we do some later. I see you later on. Get late, go get in the bed. Listen, do your thing on the stream. Me and Daisy about to record a little bit of content. This was a little before I let you go. This was a little tough, motherfucker. I fought. Finally, I finally got a little, a little nick. About time. But it wasn't. It ain't a nick like that. I couldn't even really tell until you pointed it out. Yeah, I know what everybody said. Yeah, for real. If you didn't point it out, a nigga wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. I gotta go. I love, you, yo. love you back. Call you back. Yo, listen. Hey, shout out to Jay, man. He been kicking ass. And, and if y'all been following this page, man, y'all will see he's been kicking ass. My bad. Um, I was looking at the number. I'm like, I know that Philly number. Like, but you know how you be scared when it's on another phone? You like, fuck that. So shout out to this nigga. You know what I'm saying? But we do got the viral paint and sip. It will be this Friday the 13th on Twitch. So go ahead and get your canvases. Go ahead and get all of that shit. We're doing the viral paint and sip. Now on the 20th, <laughs> we're doing the ugly Christmas sweater, right? We having an ugly Christmas sweater contest. Go to Walmart, spend five dollars, get you a blank sweater. Go to Michaels, get all the knickknacks. Oh hell, you can stay right at Walmart and get all the knickknacks that you're gonna put on your ugly Christmas sweater. We're making ugly Christmas sweaters right on live. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna have a great time doing it. The best ugly Christmas sweater wins. You know what I'm saying? Win it's the cash app prize. We also got on the 21st. Um, we're gonna be doing our viral secret Santa. You know what I'm saying? I mean, excuse me, our virtual secret Santa. You know. What I'm saying a lot of us or whatever we did uh, a secret Santa amongst the family you know what I'm saying I think it was up to upwards of like 40 people that participated so we're going to be doing the reveal of those gifts I'm hoping you guys already got your secret Santa day gifts and have and been sending it off because I'm telling you right now everything is starting to back up because of the holidays be on the safe side send that bitch off this week so a nigga can have it on the 21st you feel what I'm saying I think that's all I got nope I got another thing um we're going to have a special uh episode of on uh, Breakfast and Bud uh, featuring Jay Long, um, it's a topic that uh, I think is going to be very great. Um, I love to hear things from a male's perspective. You know what I'm saying or whatever. And I would love to hear a lot of ladies in that. So make sure y'all tune in Wednesday. You're going to see a lot of promotional flyers. You know what I'm saying that's going to start dropping uh, today. If you see them, share them, repost them. That's the only way I can grow over this bitch. I'm on the road to 3K on Twitchy. I'm in my last month. If you are on YouTube, you know what I'm saying that you're not subscribed to my Twitch. Please hit the link right here in the, in, the, in, the, in the bio You feel what I'm saying Or in the chat Go over there Just send me a sub I'm at 3k um, I, I gotta get to 3k I think right now we're, Our next goal is 1200 we're, we're, we're ticking on the long So help me get there I think that is all the things that I have Now um, It was something else that I read this morning And I'm sorry with all the announcements But I gotta keep making sure that you guys be on it Because y'all be like Man too, you didn't tell me After y'all done seen the video You feel what I'm saying Um um, but, uh, yeah, but listen, uh, I got this message this morning. I'm going to bleep out the names, uh, and things like this. Uh, I don't want to put nobody out there, especially when people hit me in a DM. Um, but here's the message. Uh, good morning toot toot. Um, I wanted to ask you something. I'm a little embarrassed to ask, but I was wondering if you could uh, ask your Twitch family if they have a teenage son who has some gently used shoes they can donate to my son. He is 14 and wears shoe a size a shoe size eight. He wants some for Christmas, but I just can't get it right now as I am financially drowning. I feel so bad. My baby has one pair of shoes to wear. You feel what I'm saying? So listen, you guys, um, I asked her, I came on here and I, and I asked her um, what type of shoes uh, her son like. Uh, I just said if you if he could pick some shoes. I didn't ask her which one she would prefer. I asked the dream gift for her son. So I don't want people to be looking at this list and be like, what the fuck? It wasn't her. It was me. I said, what type of shoes do you see him liking? You know what I'm saying? She said out of her own mouth, I don't, they don't care about no name. He just needs some shoes. But he did say either some Jordan ones or and he also liked the Nike Dunks or Vans. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Um, Before we get off this stream today, uh, I'm going to definitely get him some vans do anybody have any type of jordan ones that their son probably don't wear anymore or some night dunks 
or right now what we could do is we could start a fucking um we could start a little a little pot for um we could send stuff to the sister sunday's cash app you know what i'm saying i do have her address she is out of texas you know what i'm saying or whatever i got her address um she was like i was really ashamed i told her that i would come on this morning and talk about it um she said thank you so much too she sent me the address and she said i was really ashamed to ask but i figured it was worth a try for my son um so yeah shout out to her i don't want to put her name out um or whatever but i do have the message you know what i'm saying or whatever so um if anybody want to donate or if anybody want to send some items um if you want to donate to the sister sunday um i put the sister sunday cash app in there um the info um, what info do you need, J4? Because we could just all go ahead and get it. Vans is, I mean, I can go on Vans right now. I think Vans is relatively cheap. We can get them some Vans. Um, I'm pretty sure some Nikes. Um, yeah, I think even some Jordan ones could be cheap. I just kind of want to make this dude day. Um, this this is the first holiday where I am doing more um gifting than I ever then didn't receive in ever in my life and I am having a ball doing it um and and the thing about it is everything does not have to be you know what I'm saying name brand and stuff like that it's going to be things that people would truly appreciate just from their heart um this type of shit is really making me uh making me happy now Yolanda still said that she'd get them some dunks I'll get them the vans you know what I'm saying or whatever um let me see what's today. It's the ninth. Um, we can make this all happen. I think as long as we can get everything shipped out um, to the address, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, whenever we can, he should definitely have it by Christmas, and we can make this 14 year old's day. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to get all of the information. We could do Zell too. I got Zell as well. I am wonderful. However y'all want to do it. Um, everything is going to go to them, as you guys know. I don't even control my sister Sunday at all. Um, that goes straight to an accountant. Everything that we do is accounting for because I got to show the folks this you know what i'm saying like all of this so um trust and believe whatever you got them saying will go strictly for him and y'all know i'm extra if it's anything that's left over i get him some shirts or something to go with the sneaks maybe some hats or something like this but we'll make it happen for our son you know what i'm saying so i just wanted to be able to do that um i'm going to make sure sali got all of the information all of the sister sunday information is up there if you need my zeal information she also have that what size do he wear he wears size suit uh, a size shoe eight uh eight he's an eight size shoe you know what i'm saying i don't know what size shirt let me see if she's online right now let me see what type of what size shirt shirt he wear like is he a medium let's see what we could do for him um We'll get all of this stuff organized, you guys. Um, so we can just go ahead and take care of her. Um, the the thing that stood out of, uh, stood out the most, um, she didn't really even care about nothing new. She said, shit, just some gently used ones. And I understand that, y'all. Y'all got to understand, some of us is out here doing it by ourselves, okay? And that's also going to bring me to our topic today. Um, didn't know this was going to happen, but oh, hold on. She is responding. Let's see. He wears an XL, so he wears a XL shirt, size eight shoes, um, and things like that. Um, and yeah, we can go from there. Um, all the information of being there to be boys. Uh, he he is a boy, um, a fourteen year old uh, XL. So anything XL, you know what I'm saying? We don't have to go too crazy, but we, you know, we, I know for a fact we could probably get him some little cheap Nikes, uh, Nike jogging suits or something to go with it. I think they on sale right now for thirty nine dollars. I think I looked. Either way it go, we'll find him some jogging pants and some shit to go to go with his little thing, so we can at least have he can have something to open up on Christmas and and, and it'll be making his day um at the end of the day so yes so um yeah i don't I, I don't want like like we got to start getting to the point to where our pride and stuff like this is is not something that drives us i understand that we're going to have standards of things that we don't want to talk about myself included I, I will probably be on my last ankle before I ask for help. And I'm trying to get better at doing that. I'm trying to get better at, 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 at trusting my tribe. But here's the thing. Some people don't have a tribe. You feel what I'm saying? Some people out here are being parents by themselves, men and women. I seen it on both sides of the coin. I see men out here busting their ass. I seen women out here busting their ass. And it's going to bring me to this topic. Um, what do you fear most uh, in relationships? That's one. And two, um, how do you decipher who a person is going to be later on? Um, I, I look at a lot of things, and, and it couldn't even be a situation like this. People see single moms all the time. And then what we do, we get the victim shaming. 
the first thing that we do when we see a single mom and she may be struggling and things of that nature, the first thing we say is, well, you should you should have picked better. You should have selected better. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be motherfucking laying with these dumbass niggas. But here's the thing. How do you know that he's a dumbass nigga in the beginning? Because I see that so much and people are out here acting like women is just going out here and selecting dummies. <laughs> like we just say, all right, we got a child. Let's, let, me, let me find a dummy. Like, like they, they think that, that people are having babies with dummies. Now, I'm not going to say that there are not women that are like that because there are. But there are also some women who got in a relationship who didn't, re who didn't see who this person truly was until years down the line. See, sometimes people wear masks. And they can mask themselves very well. So what I want to know when y'all call in today is how do you detect the dummy from the beginning? Because let's be real. There are some men that are very charming. They know exactly what to do for you, your kids, your family. They make you feel like you found the one. And then two years down the line or when you choose to marry this man or when you finally have this man, baby, that's when some of the crazy start being revealed. And then the first thing that's going to happen in your case when you decide to leave this man for your own happiness is they're going to blame you for not selecting correctly. So that is what we're going to talk about. And I want to know that. Hold on one minute for the Zell, OK, um, and things like that. And um, if y'all got any questions for me um, and things like that to help this young man and shit. Throughout the uh, chat I will be saying it So whatever But yeah let's just make some people today You don't People are, people are great pretenders So why is it that people say that Because I see that shit from me And all the time in the comments Well she should have chose better She should have picked better You know what I'm saying Um, He's 14 Ask her is it a, a men's XL or a boy's XL Okay um, Okay um, It's whose birthday it's her son's birthday, too, with Christmas. Is that what the problem is? Because she had to get Christmas and birthday stuff. I mean, because I know you're trying to text me while I'm doing the show, but I can't do it. Oh, I, I'll get distracted. <laughs> Let me see if it's a man's or a man's XL or a boy's XL. Hold on one sec. Man's XL or boy's XL. All right. So how do you know it? Um, how do you know it? 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 You know what I'm saying? There is the Zell right there. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. All of that goes strictly through the Sister Sunday. Um, if you want to donate, um, or whatever, donate. You feel me? Um, I'm pretty sure that she will probably not be the only person that would need help. As a matter of fact, um, shout out to Rachel. Um, y'all remember seeing Rachel in the chat or whatever. She's actually just moving into her first apartment. You know what I mean? Or whatever. It's just like shit. It's a lot of stuff going on. And we family. We all we got, bro. It don't be $5. You feel me? We can go get some cheap shit. We are very frugal around here. But we just want to be able to help people get the stuff that they need. Now, I'm about to ready to open up the lines. Y'all know it. 678-235-4338. The question is, what do you fear the most in a relationship? And second, how do you detect Somebody that's very, who's not right for you in the beginning. Because we see this all the time when men blame y'all ass. They say all the time, well, y'all need to choose better. Y'all need to select better. Like we know they asses was going to be different down the line. How do you know? How do you pick? How do you stop that from happening? That's the question. Hit me up on the phone lines right now. 678-235-4338. Don't get quiet now, ladies. Because some of y'all probably got somebody right now that y'all picked that y'all just not figuring out that his ass ain't right. But two years ago, you didn't see this coming. So how can you be at fault for something that you can't see? You know what I mean? I want to know right now. I want to know right now. Drop it down in the comments and hit my phone. I don't see why nobody ain't calling. Why he there? <laughs> he at y'all house now? Tell the truth. He at y'all house? <laughs> Good morning, family. Hey, Coop. Hey, Pookie. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. How was your weekend? It was good. I watched you. Oh, it I was, was on live with you all weekend. Hey, that's lit. We, we had a good my weekend now. Man, we had a good ass time this weekend. Thank you for we pulling did. up. 
Thank you for the support. Tell cousins and shit. I'm trying to get to that 3K. Now, listen, you see I this am. topic. I got you Wednesday. Bet you, but you see this topic, right? And you, I know you see it in the shade room comments all the time, like when it's supposed to about a woman, right? And then the first thing that mm-hmm. men, men and women say, well, y'all need to do a better job at picking men. You feel what I'm saying? So how do you, A, be able to pick out or weed out the crazies in the beginning? When sometimes men can be very charming. What are you doing? For me, um, it's certain questions that I ask, um, especially pertaining to how they are with their family, how they are with their kids. Okay. Do they see their kids? I have to see certain things in order for me to even believe you, uh-huh. especially now after what I've been through. And I, because I have kids, um, I'm very protective over all of them, girl and boy. Yeah. Um, and I was molested and raped when I was younger. So I'm very, very cautious to even bring a man or a woman around my kids. So, um, I just ask a bunch of questions and if it don't sound right to me, I'm going to ask another question. And if it don't sound right, that's it. Facts. Like, I don't, I don't really give too many people chances now because I did. And that's when the liars came about. Like so, I you, just, you I said you you that. said something you said something that was very important because like you know you've seen a lot of shows and stuff and we always talk about um, how I think first dates always start off com- completely wrong. I feel like we reveal too much of the wrong things on the first yeah. date. I feel like we introduce a man or a woman to our traumas, everything Trauma. that that hurt mm-hmm. us, everything, every peop, everybody who hurt us, we get them so mm-hmm. much, we get them so much information about us on the first date, because I feel like we're trying to already, you know what I'm saying, make this person, you know what I mean, feel a little empathy for what we'd already been through, so here mm-hmm. we are, we introducing this man to all of our trauma when he don't deserve that, I think those type of shits we should be talking about in month nine. Nigga, you need to know what, right. what, the, what the man and did to me. Not even then, because certain traumas don't need to be spoken to. Exactly. Like, unless it's something Facts. that you have triggered. Yes. You don't need to tell everybody everything. Because I was always told when I was growing up, there's some things that you have to take to the grave. Facts. And those triggers, and uh, well, those traumas are those things. Like, there are certain things that my boyfriend now will never know. Mm-hmm. Just because, why? So you can do me like that? Or some other stuff can happen to where you feel like it's okay to try to be like that. No, I, I don't do that. I think that sometimes it's super crazy how we do things ass backwards. You know what I'm saying? On the first date over our first our first date, I'm telling you what the last man and did to me. No, nah, you don't even deserve right. that, buddy. You a stranger danger to me. I don't or even understand you that. You don't need to know about nothing I went through so something. far. Hell yeah. 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 Hell yeah. I agree. I totally agree. I, I like I like what you said with that. Um, what's your biggest fear in a relationship? My biggest fear in a relationship is somebody hurting my kids. Got you. That's the biggest fear that I have always had. I've always had that fear with just family members <laughs> hurting my kids. Because I was hurt by a family member. So um, that's my biggest, biggest fear. And the other thing is um, just being you um, because I feel um, once somebody finds out how kind you are or you're giving wifey stuff up before you need to, um, they use that against you. And so you just have to be cautious. I agree. Thank you. Much. Thank you so much for calling in, boo. Bye. Love you, too. Love you, too. Um, that's, that's, that's amazing what she said. Sometimes you got to understand, bro. We've been a fucked around and we'll meet somebody, right? Let's get it wrong. And because those first three days, they feel like the best you ever had. It might be because you just coming out of a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. And you're just looking to find that, you're looking to find that oomph back. But here's the thing. You just meet somebody. You're three days in, four days in, it's feeling good and things like that. You don't got to tell that motherfucker what, what the hell you've been through back in the day. And second, let's start asking some of the questions that make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know it's a red flag if you ask this man if he has children. And he said yes. And then you ask him, so when the last time you seen your kid? He talking about four years ago and the baby only five. It's a problem. We need to start trying to double down on them questions. Um, what's the reason why you ain't seeing them? Because if you are a woman with kids, that should automatically be unacceptable to you. 
You know what I'm saying? We go into these situations thinking that we can change these men. You know what I'm saying? To be mothers to these men. If you made the decision to bust a nut in this woman, then it's your own obligations and your own responsibility to take care of that child. I don't have to come alone to teach you how to be a father, my nigga. And if that's what I'm coming along for, then let's stop this right now. I can already tell that you're not my one. Let's stop trying to make these niggas that's showing you these red flags are ones. So then two years down the line, you ain't wondering what went wrong. I'm going to tell you what went wrong. You didn't ask the, the right questions at that first date. You so busy trying to tell that nigga what Rodney did to your ass. You not asking the questions about his ass that you need to know. Bro, you cool with your mom? Do you and your mama got a relationship? When the last time you talked to your mom? Why you don't have a relationship with your sister? When the last time you worked? Them the questions that need to be motherfucking asked. Not, the, not, not, not talking about the motherfucking shit we went through. We already done went through it. Him knowing what we went through ain't going to do absolutely nothing. And as a matter of fact, I don't even want you to know what he went through. So I'll be able to see the hole in you. Because if I tell you what went, on, what, go, what went on in my last relationship, then you know what to avoid with me. All I'm doing is giving you a blueprint to fuck me up later. Nah, you don't need to know none of my traumas. Let me see how real you is at face value without nothing to go off on. That's how you find these niggas. That's how you start weeding their ass out, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got to do. Now, hit me up. I want to know, what is your biggest fear? What is your biggest fear in a relationship? Your biggest fear in a relationship? And how do you detect if the nigga crazy from rip? We see this shit in the shade room comments all the time. Oh, you got to select your man better. You getting pregnant by the man. It's your fault. It ain't never his fault, but it's your fault. So if it's going to be our fault, then how the fuck do we got them detect his ass from the beginning? Because let's be real, some niggas wake up to be charming. <laughs> they could be a... Ch Y'all don't think future charming? <laughs> Y'all don't think he a charming motherfucker to be able to have nine kids by different baby mamas? You don't think there's something appealing about him? It is. It is. So I'm asking y'all, call my ass up, 678-235-4338. I want to know right now, what is your biggest fear in a relationship? And I also want to know, how do you detect the crazy sooner? Let's get it. Good morning, family. Rise and shine, too. Rise and shine, Pookie. It's Monday morning. Uh, what you doing, girl? I'm over here working and eating sugar cookies early in the morning. Don't need to be doing it. You know, and you know what? Sometimes, you know, you just need that little pep. How was your weekend? It was good. I enjoyed the weekend. I relaxed. Me and the kids spent time together. That's what's up. So it was good. You got your How tree. You, you got your tree up. Oh, my tree was up the day after Thanksgiving. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about, girl. You own it. Uh, my weekend was pretty cool. I had a great time um, with Jay Long. You know what I'm saying? I had a great time with the stream. I just been having a really yeah, good time. That live was so lit. It you was so fun. More lives like that because I was over here tripping. We had a damn ball. We did. We had a ball. Now you seen the question. You heard the question. And so many times you hear, you see uh, people saying that women need to select better. Um, we become single mothers sometimes. Uh, we become ex-wives. And no matter what, you know what I'm saying, it always seemed to fall on us. It's, it's what we could have did better to prevent that. So how do you, how do you prevent uh, men who put on masks in the beginning and become somebody else later? So first, I'm going to speak on, from a point of view, from where I stand. With okay, go ahead. Single mother from failed relationships. So I'm going to say, first, accept some accountability for ourselves, knowing that we put ourselves in these situations. Thanks. It's not always 100% the man's fault. So we do have to put it 50-50. Absolutely. Both, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So first is that accountability. And second, once you've made the mistake, you got to learn from it. Facts. And I know for me, my biggest fear is making those same mistakes. Okay. So when it comes to a dating space, one, to avoid that with the healing process, some things it's going to take longer to heal from, mm -hmm. but you just have to make sure you got those set boundaries. And when you get out in the dating space, 
you got to let these men know up front they can't play with you. Facts. Up front. Facts. Like, one. Like, I'm in a space to where, one, you got to be a man of God. If, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're not going to roll up and open this Bible with me, see you later. I'll pray for you. Mm -hmm. And then second, I don't know if women know this, and my mom put me on to this. <clears throat> you need to be doing background check on these men. Okay? I agree. I've done some background checks on some dudes I dated and blocked them when I was done. Yeah. Um, paid a little five dollars. Let me let me ask you something. Yeah, a little background check. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. When you're about to make in a purchase and an investment in your life, say for instance, if it's a, a home or a car, what is the first thing you're going to do? You want to investigate. You're going to research. You're going to research it. <laughs> you want to make sure you want to make sure the shit you bring in in your house and the things that's going to be a motherfucking that's going to be important to your livelihood. You're going to make sure that it fits you. You're going to look at the shit. OK, I like this color. So, of course, you should do that with your man. Especially if you're going to be around your kids and in your house and shit, eating all and sipping all the Capri yeah. Suns. You bet your motherfucking dollar I'm going to do that. Hell yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. And then I want to know about, yeah. I want to know about all your family. I want to know a lot. Them the questions that I want to talk about on the first date. You know what I'm saying? How's your family? How did y'all grow up? Where are you from? I need to know all of those things. So when I go and check your family on my own accord, I need to make sure that these dates and these cities align. Because hell yeah, you should. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing creepy about that. They, uh, and then to think about it, let's be honest. A lot of people aren't really dating as far as you out minding your business and then a nice man approach you, right? Facts. No, most people are going on dating apps. True. And my whole thing with dating apps, I'm not saying everybody on there is like this, but most predators and weak-minded men prey on women on dating apps. Yep. Especially if you say you're a single mother and if that's a sick man that like kids, he's going to use you to get to your kids. That's another thing that I, I want y'all ladies to name. change. I know that's an, another thing that I want you ladies to change. Please stop adding that in y'all bios. Please. Let me tell, let me tell y'all something. Stop doing that shit or whatever. You don't need a badge of honor. You know what I'm saying? Um, in, in a title like single mother to represent who the fuck you are. Every single day you get up and you and you do what you're supposed to do for your kids. Nobody need to know what the fuck you is. Take that out of your motherfucking bio. Please take it out your bio. Because let me tell you something. Uh, it, it's, it's now becoming, uh, what you call that shit, it's now becoming just like a, a stigma. Take that shit out your bio. Nobody need to know what the fuck you done been through, sir. Shit. They don't even don't need to know you, you a single mom and you does this. That's it. That's all. You know what I mean? You do this. That's it. You feel me? Take that shit out y'all shit. They don't need to know that, man. Wow. Like that, that's it. Nobody need to know that. Because motherfuckers pray off shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And they use that to like stain you. Now it's becoming, get this, get this shit. Now it's also becoming like, bleh, to be a single mother. Do you understand this shit when you say it out loud? Exactly. It's almost like bleh, to be not, not not that you would raise some of these men that is even they disgusted by the people who they was raised by. You not mad at the fathers for leaving or not being there or not being present. You mad at her for doing what the fuck she was supposed to do at a, as a parent. Take that shit out your bio, John. Oh, I gotta say this. Say I gotta it. call this out. Say it. I'm gonna need us women to stop going on these. I'm not gonna call out the people page. But stop going on these men's platforms that degrade women, asking you how much you weigh, do you got kids, how old you are, having them validate you when they ask is it single, but they trying to give a woman this single advice. You don't need his validation, honey. Period. You are good enough. You are a strong, beautiful woman. Facts. And if it's meant for you to have somebody, God is going to bring that person in your life. You don't need to go online and humiliate yourself and validate yourself through a man that don't even like black women himself. Facts. Ooh, don't get me started. Don't get started, sis. Don't get the blood pressure. <laughs> because I know how it is. I get aggravated, too. Nah, you made some Ooh. very great points. Thank you so much for calling in, sis. This is a great, great All topic. Right, thank you, too. No you problem, Pooh. Have a good day. Good morning, family. Good morning.
morning, Tootie Booty. Good morning. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Good morning, Tootie Booty. <laughs> Good morning, girl. How was your weekend? Um, actually pretty productive. Me and my husband went to the gym yesterday and, you know, knocked some time out. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, so you you seen yeah. you 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 heard the question. Um, what's your biggest fear in a real rela- in a relationship, and how do you you know what I'm saying um be able to weed through um the people that pretend in the beginning in a relationship? That's wow. Um, the way I the way I look at things is. Like, okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take a um my my current situation as an example. Okay. Um, as you know, like I've been married to my husband for eight years. Okay. Um, how I knew he was different is first of all he's. Like he's in his fifties, so he's you know you you expect a man of that age to you know to have his shit together. Mm-hmm. Um, but what set him apart from both of my children's fathers mm-hmm. was I had no idea that when I was at work, he set my kids down and ask their permission to marry me. Mm. Okay. And my kids were, I think, five and six at the time. Mm-hmm. And I had, I had no clue. And then my kids came and sat down and talked to me and said, Mommy, Mr. Preston wants to marry you. And I said, what? He asked us, could, could he marry you? And I was like, oh, my God. And that that really hugged on some heartstrings because I had never experienced that in my life. So you feel like this relationship was completely different from your children's fathers because you was able, like, like how long had you and, and your husband dated before you decided to get married? Believe it or not. It was rare. It was one of those. It was one of those love at first sight type things, because we actually worked in the same place. Okay. So it was like one of those love at first sight type things. You know, it's. I know. It, I know. It may seem cliche or like a like a movie type thing. You know, you you see each other. You know, and something just. No, nah, I don't think it's cliche at all. I believe that definitely can happen. I believe that definitely can happen. You know, it's like we we just looked at each other and it was just something that was there. Mm-hmm. And then I I was I was literally like on the tail end of coming out of the relationship with my daughter's father. Okay. And um, I was standing in the hallway crying one day, and any like nine times out of ten, you know, men. They see a woman standing off to the side crying. You know, they could take it upon themselves and take advantage of that situation. True. At any point in time. But him, he saw me, and he said, Latrice, what's the matter? And, like, he just, you know, he went in and he kissed me on my forehead. He said, what's the matter? And we literally sat in the hallway, and we just talked for about an hour. I like think he didn't like, like he he didn't try to you know make a move nothing. I mean he literally he could have tried to you know tongue me down. He could have tried to done anything, but to me, a, a kiss on the forehead to me hits different. Yeah, he he fronts a load you. But let me ask you a question. So even though um like even though right now like I feel like this was the first time the mass was. Was 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 what it was. What is your biggest fear in in your relationship? What's the biggest? What's your biggest fear right now? 
my biggest fear, like outside of my husband, like when it comes to relationships, my my biggest fear was always being used and being abused again. And I'm not I'm not gonna lie, because I had been through it twice back to back with my children's fathers for the longest time. I had like I had experienced that so much, even though I knew my husband was a good man, I was waiting for him to change. I did. I was wait like I, I was waiting for him to change and turn into this this person, like to, you know, to like the third time around, you know, to be this to be number three, that you know that treated me worse than dog shit so and it's like he never changed and we we've almost been together almost 10 years that's lit well thank you for calling in sis and thank you for sharing your story because that just did sometimes you know what i'm saying when you know you just know thank you so much sir yo Ooh. listen i'm telling you um it's gonna be times i feel like where i just don't think that we do enough unraveling let's just be real as women we got to take accountability we see some dudes and, and, and they check off those or those uh those check boxes of being attractive to you. So you overlook certain shit and we don't answer certain shit. Or what we do is we go ahead and we start, you know what I'm saying, making excuses right along with them. You know what I'm saying? We talking to this man, you got a daughter and shit, why you ain't seen her, bro? Oh, it's because the baby mama's all fucked up. The baby mama's all fucked up. Hold on, sis. We've heard this conversation before. You know what I mean? My baby, my, my baby father has said I was fucked up and I was not. So let's take a deep dive in what the fuck he really means. Because you know what I'm saying? He could be saying, oh, yeah, my baby mama don't want me to do this and this because you don't want to step up. Because there's certain men who want to be fathers that's going to step up. It's going to be certain things that's just not acceptable for them. You feel what I mean? So we got to stop goddamn encouraging this type of behavior. It's lame as hell. That shit don't make it. You ain't you ain't you ain't fire. You know what I'm saying? Because this man is over here playing daddy to your kids when he got some. No, sis. No, no. That don't look good. I don't care what nobody say. We can argue in these comments. We can argue real bad in these comments. Just because he over here playing daddy to your kids. You know what I'm saying? And you know that he got kids. Oh, shawty, that don't make it right. Oh, no, 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 no. Because as a woman, shawty, it should be, an, uh, it should be unacceptable. Because if this man is able to fill a void in your kid's life, understand the void that's missing in those kids' life. Send his ass over there to be a good dad. If he want to be a good man, that's what he'll be doing. So it got to be certain standards that we got to just start standing on. The more women that do it, the more men got to step up. If that shit is going to be a standard for us all, guess what men going to have to do? <laughs> Stand up. But as long as we keep it enabling them with that type of behavior, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And, and it can't happen. Hey, man, listen, we finna goddamn get more into this topic. I actually want to talk to a man about this, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Uh, somebody who's married, maybe have children, you know what I'm saying? I definitely want to talk uh, to a man about this. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Absolutely. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you perfect, bro. Good morning, bro. Good morning. <laughs> man, good morning with you, man. Hey, listen, introduce yourself to the people and shit, because we're having a great topic, and I definitely want to hear some feedback with this type of shit, dead ass. Um, let folks know what's going on with you, bro. Uh, man, uh, first of all, I appreciate you for having me, man. I'm 2K, talks with 2K on Twitch. Yes. Um, yeah, and I've I, I been listening, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I, I, I just want to, you know, know, just chime in. Mm-hmm. Now, listen, um... From a woman's perspective, I'm in the shade room comments a lot, and and I see things, you know what I'm saying? It could be, um, say, for instance, single moms. It could be whatever the case may be, and I see this a lot. Men saying, well, you should have chose better. You should have chose better. You feel what I'm saying? You selected this such and such. But sometimes men could sell niggas' dreams. Let's be real. Sometimes men to put on masks, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and pretend to be this person the first year, and then after you done moved in and gave this nigga a child or even maybe even married this nigga, four years down the line, this nigga somebody completely different. This nigga that turned into Corey Hartwig. So how, how like, 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 why do y'all feel like single mothers now is now a stigma? Or some men, and I might not be you, but I'm just saying, why do men look at that and it's now a uh, 
when some of them was raised by single mothers. I just want to know this. So go I'm, ahead and unlike me. I'm one of them guys too. Like I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, a single mother is a ugh to me. Okay. And I was by a single mother. You say you was raised by a single mother, and a single mother is a ugh to you. Oh my God, we finna get at it. Oh, we are. Let's go. So, 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 what the, what the, what the fuck is the UFO? Well, it, it, it's like when 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 we when we speaking about women, I, I hate to hear the term. I die for my children, right? Mm -hmm. To come out of certain women's mouth because you know the statistics of your child growing up in a single parent home, right? And okay. you know it takes a, a, a dramatic dip. So when you say something like "I die for my children," that means you will make the ultimate sacrifice for your children. Okay. But on the flip side, you want me to believe that all while believing that you won't even stay with the child daddy, so the child can have the best uh, opportunities in life mm -hmm. for your children. So it, it, it's hard for me to believe a woman like off the top, I get liar. Can don't tell me you will die for your children, but you won't stay with your kid's dad for your children, which, 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 which statistically give him the best chance or give the baby the best chance of having a great life. Yeah. All right. Now, see, now this is where we finna. Ooh, ooh, we finna have a good one today. So oh, no. you're saying so. So don't men have the same code of honor? Y'all say that y'all would die for y'all children too. So like like y'all so y'all y'all putting y'all seed in these women. See, this is the thing that I don't understand. Now, you say that we say we would die for our kids. Correct, we will. I don't mm -hmm. th I, I think that we will, but this is the thing. In the Bible, right? Let's be mm -hmm. real. Y'all men are supposed to lead. Okay? Um a lot of you guys I feel lead women astray. You, you don't have, I mean, it's hard to follow a nigga when they don't even know where they're going their sales. So my thing right. is, you are the one who control the semen. <laughs> okay? So my thing is, why is it that we have to go by our, we have to, we have to go by a certain code, but y'all don't. Y'all are the one that are busting mad nuts in the women that y'all are selecting to be y'all baby's mamas. But these are the same women that y'all choose to leave. But then we are wrong. For not trying to fight for you or putting up with the bullshit, cause let's be real, a lot of a lot of women is gonna have to put up the bullshit to keep that nigga in the home. So how in the fuck do it comes on us? I don't get it. See, first of all, it's more than just bullshit, and then it's more than just you. Okay, so this this is the problem that I'm hearing. I'm hearing a lot of you, you, you. Yeah. Once you decide to, cause ultimately the choice is yours. Like no matter how many times I bust in you, you determine if this baby coming here or not. Okay. So once you make that decision, us, me, you, stuff like them words, they go out the window. It's all about child. Okay. All about child. Like so we got to persevere through whatever we got to get through to make sure our child or our children can have the best opportunity in life. Put, listen, I have a wife, right? Okay. And I, I done, I done messed up, and I ain't no way this woman ain't probably supposed to been left me. Mm -hmm. But I know that she is also looking out for the children. I, in, 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 in the sense of that, she's learning to relove me. Me, I'm doing the same, and we got the children here to keep us down through stupidity mm -hmm. because. Let's say you got out of a relationship because this dude cheated on you, right? Mm -hmm. Who's to guarantee the next dude won't? But the only thing you did was put the child at a disadvantage. So let, let's go back to this leadership thing now. Okay. A lot of a lot of the our, our sisters, our modern day women, have grown up without a daddy. So y'all don't know what leadership look like. So you might think this dude here leading you astray. Because you never seen his type of leadership. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? And like, and, and don't, don't, don't give me Miss school. I was in the army, and so you know, you had somebody on above you, and Facts. you ain't understand they methods at the time. Because I didn't grow up under that type of leadership, so I was like, man, what they do? He gonna get us killed? But he knew better. 
He just knew better, and I just didn't understand what leadership was. And y'all get incentivized for leaving us and being a single mama. So I, I can understand why the uptick is up on it. So let me ask you something. So you said that, you know, you had your own situations with your wife now. I mean, I, I, from the way that it sounds to me, I don't know the story, but it sounds like you, you might have cheated. OK. Yeah. And, and y'all have children. OK. You know what I'm saying? And, and because y'all had the children, she made a decision. OK, listen, this nigga cheated. You know what I'm saying? So yo, and I'm just trying to get your your, your thought process. So in in your brain, you like, all right, you know what I'm saying? He cheated. My husband cheated, but this is my kid's father. Now I can be an independent black woman and say, fuck this nigga, move on. You know what I'm saying? And gamble the next man possibly doing the right thing or doing the same thing or fix, bill, repair with my children's mother or my children's father so these kids don't miss a tick. That's basically what you're saying from your point of view. Yeah. But okay. but listen, li listen okay. to your analysis of the breakdown. Okay. The conversation that you had with you was only about you. Facts. Facts. It, 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 it only catered to your feelings, the way you felt, and nobody else. You took the, the, the kids out of mind. You took the, the husband out of mind or, or the wife. You took too many pieces out of mind. You making so many decisions for you that's going to affect everything. But see, but this, but this is where I'm getting, though. But see, the moment you got in your car to mm -hmm. go meet the other woman, mm -hmm. the moment you got out your car, walked to the hotel, walked to her house, the moment you walked in there, the more that you went in there, the more that you kissed Shawty, the more that you decided to put your dick in Shawty. You are doing those same things, not thinking about our children when you do that. So this is where I don't understand. It's like, yes, I do have a responsibility for my kids, but yet you have a responsibility for those same kids. So you had so much time to understand the shit you was doing wrong. You did not care about anything when it came down to the destruction of our family, when you went to go do this. Now you want me to feel a certain way because let's think about it before I say anything about me, 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 you, you, you decided to go and fuck somebody in a hotel. See, you wasn't thinking about the children nor me when you made that decision. So now when you come back after sleeping with another woman, you want me to be able to understand, you know what I'm saying, what we supposed to dictate and what are is supposed to dictate. But see, it was just about you when you was at the hotel with Shawty. So why do I got to feel fucked up for now choosing me when you just chose you when you went over there? I don't get that. And see, that is the breakdown that I have with men. Men, women, we both have the same obligation to each other. I need your yeah. semen. You need my egg. Bow. We got children now. We have one. Yeah. We, we have a kid. And you right. It do becomes R when that happens. But see, you made it about you when you stepped out. And now you can't get mad at me for thinking about me. Okay. So, a couple of things. All right. Let's go. Let's break it down. Now, what we doing is playing the percentages, okay? Okay. And, and keep in mind, this was never a decision that was directly going to impact the children. Okay. Now, our personal relationship, absolutely selfish. Uh, uh, man, you don't do it. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand, when you caught me cheating, the children didn't know. <laughs> when, okay. when I it, like it, it wasn't like the Fact. it wasn't like the, the, the children was there. It, it, it like women they they they, they do this a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, they take like the the, the whole cheating situation. Mm -hmm. It's between the man and the woman. Mm -hmm. and then they go introduce the scenario to the children mm -hmm. who, who know nothing about it, who probably don't care about it. They just see mama crying. That's what they care about. Yeah. So. Uh, it, and you right. I'm, I'm not for the scene and lie like you're not right. Yeah, but no. We're just having a discussion. And this is it's great to hear men perspective because 2K, let's be real. A lot of men yeah. is going to feel like you feel. So it's just like shit. This is what we need to be able to do to be able to understand each other, to be able to grow. So keep going. So you saying so, the children is really sometimes it's introduced to the children and you're feeling like it don't have to go to that extent. Personally, whatever me and you going through is cool. 
and, and, and this, and this is the only thing that I want men to understand, right? Okay. Um, to raise, to raise kids. I don't even have children, but I'm just thinking, you know what I'm saying? To raise kids is going to take not only financial, it's not going to, it's, it's going to take a lot of things, mental health. All right. And I know you saying that it's certain things that a, 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 a child should know. But see, this is the thing for your woman and your wife to be the best wife to not only you and the best mother to their children, the mental health have to be there. And if she has to go back and forth and be trying to figure out where your ass is at at this time, because, yes, you apologize. Yes, we're trying to repair the relationship. But no matter how many I'm sorry, as you said, when you're saying you're going down the street, it's still going to stifle me. Is this nigga really down the street? So now what you have done is you have took away something very, very intimate for me. OK. Yeah. I can't, I got to rebuild this trust. And in rebuilding this trust, it's going to take emotions for me where I'm not a hundred percent myself. I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not a hundred percent woman right now, which means that I'm only 60% as a woman right now. Cause this is how I'm feeling, which means I'm only giving 45% to my children. Okay. You feel me? So even though I don't say nothing to them, even though I'm not crying in front of them, I don't have the energy to play with little Kiki right now because I am hurt. And I'm not trying to see her. I don't want her to see me crying. So listen, I'm going to pretend. Mama don't feel good. Go ahead, boo-boo. Go down there and go lay down. So what happens is even though I have not told her shit, I'm still affecting that child. So do y'all not understand that it's a domino effect no matter what? And so look at you. Look at you. You being selfish again. How? Oh. <laughs> All right. Look now, what I said. You, in the midst of getting your your feelings hurt, you acting like it's still only you. If we together trying to work this out, maybe you is running that fifty percent. But guess what? You got another fifty percent down the hall. Yo, two K, open your lines up. Uh, oh, okay, I will. Hold open on. the okay. lines up. Yeah, open the lines up on yours because your app is already, you got your shit already set up. And there's people no. saying they want to talk and they want to talk and shit. This is a great discussion. Hey, bro, I'm so happy you called it. This is a great discussion because, like, honestly speaking, I, no, listen, I can understand certain things because I look at shit from different perspectives, but this is a great topic. Let's get it. What's the number, okay. bro? 808 498 9156. Let me go get my charger so we don't cut out me. Go so. get the charger, bro. Go get Hold the on. charger. Hey, listen, shout out to everybody in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody in the chat. You know what I'm saying? We on here with the Breakfast and Bud Morning Show and shit, and we're having a great discussion. You know what I'm saying? We see in Shade Room comments a lot. You know what I'm saying? We're men. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they ugh, over single mothers. They do. And they say that sometimes we should select better. We should. Think about the children before we become single mothers. And, you know what I mean, we're just talking about it. And I got a man perspective. I have a guy, you know what I'm saying, 2K talks with 2K. You know what I'm saying, he's married. You know what I'm saying, he has fell, in, he fell short uh, a time. You know what I'm saying, or whatever. And he's giving perspective on, on certain shit. You know what I'm saying, or whatever. So, we're going to talk. We're going to talk. It seems like the lines are blowing up. Everybody is on this bitch. You feel me? Everybody is in on it, bitch. We finna get it started, man. You feel me? Hey. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm ready for phone call. All right, let's get it. Let's get the number. Let's get the number. Uh, let's get the number uh, up in there. What is it? 808? 498. 9156. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Repeat again. Hey, somebody put it in my chat and, 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 and uh, you know, uh, goddamn pin that. 808. And I'm only doing this because my other monitor still haven't got here, y'all. So I don't want to keep going in and out on my phone calls. I want us just to be able to talk. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Let's get it. Let's get it. This topic making me hot laughing out loud. But I love this topic, though. This is one of these things. See, this is how I love, too, bro. It's like we need conversations like this. I think this is some great shit because you are somebody who experienced all this shit. So who else to learn this shit from from a man? Now some women might not like what they hear. But the thing about it is, this is might this might be how a lot of men think. So you might want to break down. So when you having that first date, these are the type of questions you asking. <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying? So you can be selective in your choosing. You feel so, me? 
So, so I, I got I got some more ridicule. Like, oh, hold on, because they hold on. They want the number one more time. Do it slow a little bit. They saying it's eight. Say it again. Eight zero eight. Eight zero eight. Four nine eight. Four nine eight. Nine one five six. Nine one five six. Y'all got that? Get that, Cornaya. It's not gonna be my line. It's two K line. So don't put that up. It's gonna confuse people. Eight eight zero eight four nine eight nine one five six. Let's get it. Let's get it once again. Can we pin that? Can we pin that yeah. in both chats? Let's get it. Let's get it. Good morning. How your mama know, baby? Hey, she, I she good. Two people got me fucked up. <laughs> How so? Hey, check it. So, I'm going to stay here and I listen. And I'm a very reasonable and understanding person. But I'm going to be completely transparent. I did exactly what you said. Okay? Mm -hmm. We did it for a long time. I'm married. We, have, we got married because we wanted to create a family of our own. But I saw the red flags before we were married. Okay? This is cool. This is true transparency. Married him, took in an outside child. Now, the outside child was made when we were not together. Mm -hmm. So I didn't hold that against her. Raise that child. But remember, there was still the red flags. The red flags was that this nigga had done cheating multiple times. But he wasn't my husband. We were still young. And you know, okay, I charged it to the game. We had done created a family. Now, my first fuck up was marrying this nigga when I already seen the red flags. However, we're married now. Okay. You cheat one time, all right, cool. Second time, all right, wait a motherfucking minute. But I'm still loving you through this because I'm thinking of my kids. But how beneficial am I to my children? If I am sad, if I am depressed, if I am broken, if I am just completely out of it because I'm loving and I'm staying because of these kids, but I'm not truly happy. Just because you did what you wanted to do, why do I have to fucking stay for our kids? True enough, it was a, it, what you did was not a it was not a choice made to harm your children. However, I, as their mother, it is my job to protect them. See, listen, so me so me let me stop you there. Nigga, I listened to you for a whole twenty nine thousand minutes. Can't be a fool. My foolish potential of a mother to my kids. Now, the hell is this thing that I couldn't show them what love looked like in my marriage. So we politely and understandably divorced. But we showed them love and what healthy love and co-parenting looks like between two people who just couldn't do that shit together. And my kids respect me enough because why? I have two sons and one daughter. My sons I did not, nor did he, want to see what a fucked up individual it was when it came to personal. Excellent father? Absolutely. Man, wasn't worth shit. We hey, hey, this one, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Now this 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 one thing I'm I'm gonna have to really say though, because you said something that was very key. Um you did say that you seen the red flags before you married him. You also seen the red flags before you start having children. Now, this is going to be a little bit different from the topic because the topic is about men who present themselves in, in, a, in a light to where it could be deceiving. And then later on, he changed. In this particular situation, he was exactly who he was when you met him. So yeah. it's, 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 that would not be the same thing. So it's fucked up as it is. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep it real. Like it was certain things that you were aware of and you still decided to take a risk on him as not only your husband, but also your baby father. So that is something that I feel like you got to share accountability for because like this nigga showed you before you became his wife. You know what I'm saying? This nigga showed you before you had his second and third kid. So this one right here would kind of be on you too, sis. Because like, it, you know what I'm saying? And I've said this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, this can't just be about him. Now, there's going to be certain men who's going to act like, oh, yeah, he want the family. There's going to be certain men that be like, yes, marry me tomorrow. And he's going to be this He's gonna be this perfect guy. And then two years later, he's not none of that. That's kind of like what this is. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like in that scenario... 
I feel Ooh. like y'all both got to share that responsibility. That's we, just, that's just my personal my personal opinion. Okay, so. so said that in the very beginning, I absolutely take accountability for overlooking those. But let's just be honest. And if there's any women, I know there's women in the chat. We overlook that shit in hopes that the men or women will change. I was 16 years old. Not ashamed to say it. I was a teenage mother. I wasn't looking for love. Gotta ask my excellent fucking father. However. So, so darling, can I ask you this? Absolutely. How old was he? 22. 22. So, this now, these are the type of realization facts that we got to run with, okay? Did you think, and I know this don't sound messed up, but just be <laughs> honest. Just be honest when I ask you this question. Did you think that you was going to be the last piece of coochie he had for the rest of his life? I don't think that would any fucking body to be honest. <laughs> No. Uh, okay, so listen. What you doing is expecting the impossible from your man. Like y'all, that's a higher standard than you hold Jesus probably. <laughs> so so let me tell you because when you was talking, all once again, all I heard was I, 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 no. I. Yes, yes, I yes. You. No. Hold on, hold on. Now you call for 29 or 30 minutes. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just keep it funky with you. When he did what he did, that didn't affect the kids. You affected the kids when you went back and displayed that. Now I'm gonna tell you, just like I'm telling two before I, I, I turned on the phone line. Fifty percent over there and fifty percent over here is still a hundred percent. But once you lead a relationship and then you doing it by yourself. I and you, you kind now you got to get into your quote unquote healing phase, but you still giving your child the same fifty percent you would have gave them if you was in the house with somebody else that had fifty percent. So now the kids are suffering, and now you struggling, and now the kids wandering the streets when you still had your helpmate and make sure these kids straight down the hall from you. But how can you say what will affect the children? You can't say. You can't say it. So it's healthier for them to see, because come on, let's just keep it a G. Even if your G, so you're saying, even though your wife stayed, are you saying the two of you were just immediately okay? No. You cheating? No, listen, okay. She was hurt because I cheated. I was hurt because I cheated. Of course. I was hurt because I hurt her. So both of so us. You don't think your kids are her hurt? Yeah, I, maybe, but, maybe yes, not. yes, they did. Okay, but guess what else the kids say? They can get over it. They can they can be resumed and they bounce back. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, time out. We, we, listen, we going to teach them that every time something don't go your way, you don't quit. But what are you teaching your daughter? Because here's the thing. Do, you oh, know, I, life imitates okay. art. So let me just ask. Is so so. Let me just say. If so, if your daughter comes when she's older now, let's say mm -hmm. you got your daughter. She come to you. She's curtain, daddy. You know what I'm saying? Um, my fiance. I just found out he cheated on me. Now she's coming to her daddy because you her protector. You feel what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Um, so you're gonna automatically be okay with her um, accepting uh, being hurt to that magnitude just because. I mean, men are just, it's not logical for men just to not put their dick in nothing else. <laughs> like, like, how do you explain that? Like, how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you fix, how do you do that? That's what I be want to know when it comes down to these conversations. Because, see, I feel like it's nothing sexier on a man than, you know what I'm saying, uh, when they have sexual discipline. Of course you do. Okay. I, I mean, I'm, I just feel like that would be, I, I would even feel that same way with a woman. Because let's be real, men, women, they both cheat. Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, when you say something along the lines and you say, how old are you? And she say, I'm 22. So do you really expect for you to be the last dick she get? That, that's a valid point. And I... I really do if if we for the rock out. 
But listen, okay, so this, this what so I So why is it so hard for y'all to forgive women when they cheat on y'all, but y'all can fuck everybody? So that's the so answer to that. Y'all are trying to hold us to a standard that has not been made for men ever. The way, the, the standard to, that y'all holding men to is one of a woman. You know why? Because y'all get the pick of the litter. Y'all can go have sex. You can go knock on your neighbor door right now. Hey, you want some pussy? <laughs> and I guarantee you get invited in. That ain't how men life work. Y'all are trying to hold us to our stand to, to y'all standard, and we don't we not the same. You ain't lying, cause y'all crazy as hell. But see, that's but but what but see, just because you feel like that, that, it's not expected though. That's the thing. All right, so let me ask you something. Was it something, and this is what I really want to know. Was it something your wife was doing wrong, or was it something like your need, a need that you had to fulfill? It was just and like I, a hunt. I hate dudes that do this. When your dude go cheat, or uh, that woman cheat on you, it is never because of nothing you doing. Okay? There's nothing my wife can do to make me go fuck another woman. Mm -hmm. There's nothing your husband can do to make you go mess with a dude who you don't want to mess with. Mm -hmm. It never. Okay? So the only time I'm doing something is because I wanted to do it. Probably dumb in the moment, but I wanted to do it. I can't blame nobody else for what I want to do with my, my private part. Mm -hmm. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. You can't blame nobody what you want to do with your private part. So I, I hate when women say, hey, I, I cheated because he did. No, you cheated because you cheated. You didn't you didn't mess with the first dude who you seen on your way over there. You you ain't you walk past a janitor, you walk past three fat dudes, and you walk past somebody else and you want to mess with the dude who you wanted to mess with. So you ain't do that because of me. You did that because that's what you wanted to do. So suppose she get up one night and say, yeah, this is what I want to do. I want to go get some dick. He did it. It ain't no excuse. I want to go do it. Are you as forgiving to her? She come home or you find out that she got some dick, you know what I mean? And you come to her and you say, bae, you know what I'm saying? What's this about? And she just said, hey, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of listened to what you said. You told me you wanted just to do it. And you know what? I ain't going to lie. I just wanted to do it. I just fucked that nigga. So are you as forgiving? Are you, standing, are you staying there for the women? How, are you staying there for the children? Because you just said earlier, it's about our. So yeah, are, yeah. Are, you, are you making the same sacrifice for her too as well? Absolutely. Okay. This, but you said it depends. I, what, the, what, what it depends on? If, first of all, if we got kids or not. Okay. All right. Y'all got kids. Second of all, the position I got you in. So if the sole reason... Niggas want to sleep with you is because of the lifestyle that I'm providing you in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Cause listen, let me tell you about the hundred percent nigga now, and, and why women don't cheat on them too fast. Because the hundred percent nigga, he the reason your hair look that good. He the reason why you stress free and got ain't got to worry about work. He the reason why your nails look good. He the reason why that outfit. So the reason why these niggas want to sleep with you. It's because of the lifestyle I provided to you. Now, if you go cheat on me while I'm doing everything for you, good luck with that, ma'am. You are out of here. <laughs> good luck. You are out now, of hold here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, son. Nigga, Kevin Samuels is reincarnated on NBA. Hey, hold on, listen, listen. No, hold on, time out. So, what about the ladies? Because, let's, let's be real. What about the ladies that don't need a nigga? Because that's the that's the era we in right now. You feel what I'm saying? Let's talk yeah. about it. You know, it's some ladies who who, who had their own. Now, now, so let's let's change the scenario. Some you in a relationship with your wife, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't provide. Y'all both bring to the pot, okay? She has her own bread. You got yours. She go get her own hair, nails, and all of that shit done because she can do just that. All right. Mm -hmm. So here you come along with your manly self and you like you said, hey, shit, you seen something you wanted to smash that you wanted them cheeks. You did that. Your wife finds out, you know what I'm saying? And you say, oh, babe, you already fucking know what this is. Shawty, it ain't it. I don't love you. I love you even more. 
It's just the fact that, shot I just had a need that needed to be fulfilled. Shot it like, you keeping me, you holding me to a standard. Not even Jesus can fulfill, babe. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. We got these kids and ways. You feel what I mean? Let's make this work. She said, okay. Let's make it work. So fast forward two weeks ago, she got her fucking dress on. And she just decided she's out with her girls. And she see her an attractive man. And it ain't got nothing to do with the family and none of that. She just wanted to fuck him. Okay? Now she got her own bread. So if you leave, you leave. It's fucked up because the kids will be affected. But hey. But anyway, she comes home and you find out, oh my God, something ain't right. I smell a man cologne on her. So you ask her, babe, what the fuck this is about? No lie, I wanted to cheat. Where are you at? Is it acceptable? Are you staying because of the kids? I'm going to tell you why it's not acceptable. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Here we are. No, no, I'm here. You are. Why? Okay, because you had your chance to out. You had time for an exit interview. And, no, listen. But what you chose to do was use your pussy as collateral for revenge. <laughs> you told me that it was okay and we was gonna get back on the right path. I have never. Okay, so let's say me and you in a fight too. I right, so bam, I hit you, and you say, you know what, you know, man, we don't need to fight. You say, you know what, we don't need to fight. Okay, cool. You agree, I agree. But when I turn around, you sucker punch me. Were you being, uh, 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 were you being malicious with your answer when you said you wanted to be cool and work it out? Or I might have just wanted to do it. See, this is the thing. You feel as if that it's a tit for a tat thing when it's not got nothing to do with that. It's more of an emotional thing. See, here's the thing, bro. We could forgive the way that the way that we were willing to forgive you. You feel what I'm saying? We could forgive as well, but sometimes, nigga, it don't got nothing to do with being mean to you. It ain't got nothing to do with want to get back at you. Sometimes it be like, you know what? I just want to fuck this nigga. The same way how you feel, a woman feels the same way. So I just don't understand why men sometimes feel entitled to think that I most didn't... of the women, most of women's decision making revolves around them. Because sometimes that is just so not the case. Give me with a mind full of revenge. Hmm? Hmm? What'd you say? How you, how you gonna forgive me with thoughts of revenge? But see, it's, it, it, to you is revenge. To me, I just wanted to fuck this nigga. That's okay, it. That's so, all. The same way that how you just wanted to fuck that bitch and you finally caved in into temptation, women feel the same way. You don't think that women look at men and say, oh my God, I will put miles on this nigga. It don't have nothing to do with you sometimes. And see, that's what I'm trying to get men to understand. The world don't set and sell around y'all. So sometimes the decision making had nothing to do with revenge. It had nothing to do with being mad. Hell, 2K, do you not understand? Some women probably have already fucked the man that they wanted to fuck outside of you way before you even stepped out. And you probably would never know it in your life. So what I want you to also understand, when you want us to be open-minded on how men think, you got to be open-minded to how women think because we are not just that gullible, dog. You feel me? And everything is not about revenge. When okay, so... This ain't child thinking, though. For the majority part, y'all. For the majority part, because y'all get the pics of the litter. Mm -hmm. Y'all want the man y'all want because that's the man that you can get. Okay. And you, you talking to somebody who has to take what's given. The, 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 the two logics would never meet with each other because y'all y'all play the game on easy. We play the game on extremely hard. <laughs> Think about this. So, okay, for, for a normal woman, it's 30 niggas in her Instagram inbox, right? You said what? For the, for the normal woman, it's 30 niggas in her Instagram inbox. Okay. Correct. Okay. Okay. 15 of them are them gonna make it to her phone. Okay? No, I'm, I'm just saying, let's say 15 make it to her text message. Okay. Out of all 30 of them niggas, she got to pick one to have six weeks. And that, let's say so happened to say it was your nigga. I feel like you need to give this nigga a reward. I feel like you need to reward him. I 
out of 30 niggas, she picked yours to sleep with, too. That nigga got to be good. We, 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 we got some food. <laughs> No awards, so nigga, baby, you still got it, bro, bro, like, bro, dogs, yo, shot it, like, open the lines up, open, open your, hey, call this nigga real quick, shot it, hey, two K, they want to strangle the fuck out you right I'm now, right? <laughs> hey, bro, hey, look at that shit, I know, hey. Y'all call in 8084988. I want to know what type of women y'all dating because it's, nigga, the th like 30 women that I know, you probably ain't even going to make it past the D. You probably ain't even going to get the DM read. So that's what I'm saying. It's just y'all think that y'all, you think that this is where we really at right now in the world? To where, like, you think that. All right, let me ask y'all something. <laughs> Bro, so let me ask you something. You feel like as long as you so so you feel like I right, let me see. so now after the first situation happened with you and your wife and you you seen how it hurt her and you pretty much vowed to her that that would never happen again. Fuck that. I'm never jeopardizing our family, our kids, blah zee, blah. Why do you have to wait to have that type of discipline after you hurt your wife? If it's something that you're able to do now, when you could have just did it before, I'm not understanding it. See, this is the thing. Everything is about choices. It goes all the way back to the Bible, bro. We all make choices. And I'm just saying, as much as a bitch you might see, you want to fuck them. You know what I'm saying? It's still a choice for you to make that for you to make that move. So how is it now that you're disciplined to be able to fulfill not cheating for her now? Versus from the beginning because you're gonna have to make it make sense if you got all of the strength of Hercules now Why the fuck you didn't have it in the beginning because let's be real. You know what I'm saying you didn't have to make her your wife You didn't okay. you feel what I'm saying? Okay. She could have just stayed a girlfriend or baby mama You didn't have to do that But when a man elect to do that you would think that he's also electing You know what I'm saying to have the discipline and everything else that goes along with it So how do you heal like Wolverine after you cheat on a motherfucker, but you couldn't do it beforehand? Okay, so first of all, what y'all need to understand is when your dude get cheating, he don't process it as something that he did wrong. <laughs> no, too, you laughing. Listen. Okay, go, 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 okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. By nature, we hunt. By nature. So we were doing exactly what we were supposed to be doing. This is the part that, that, that make me never want to do it again. I hurt her. That's it. You ever heard what Andre 3000 said? Listen, uh, 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 I hate to see y'all uh, crying, but I love to see her smile. Yeah. That's really what it is. I, I'm going to value your smiles over their tears. Mm hmm so, in order for me to guarantee, I, I'll never be the reason she hurt like that again. Is hey, let me get right for her. Not because I really thought this action was wrong. Because, let's be honest, most women don't want no dude who ain't got no experience. Most women don't want niggas that don't nobody want. So, I had to build my stature up to even be likable by you through doing what you hate that I do. So, my whole thing is, is to just, I'm here to protect your feelings. When they say we're a protector, I want to protect your feelings as well. And I seen how you reacted to that. I can't do that no more. So, you didn't think that she was going to have that reaction? Like, I, I mean, think, you, didn't think, you didn't think that it would hurt her for you to do that? We hunters. We playing the percentages. We, 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 we at the casino betting that we don't get caught. Not that. Is she going to hurt or not? We know she's going to hurt. My thing is to not get caught. I don't think nothing. Keep in mind. We don't think nothing is wrong with you. We just don't want to get caught and protect her feelings. Now, this is how you tell when a nigga don't love you. When he just out in the open with the chick. He took it out on dates in public places. He doing it every other month. That's when it is getting to egregious 
uh, 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 turn. Like, if your dude cheating on you every other month, he taking her out on dates where he could be seen, then that's when I give you the permission. Like, get that nigga out your way. Because he don't care about you. Mm-hmm. But you, but you basically saying that there are going to be men that are great men that might have made a mistake of cheating on everybody. Just, 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 just because it's, 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 it's in a nigga's nature. But you feel like, you know what I'm saying, you're saying that, you know what I mean, it's, 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 it's basically every woman that's in a marriage, you think that what percentage of men do you think is going to cheat based on... You know what I'm saying? The way you thinking. I can't say they gonna cheat because they're in the marriage, because you gotta understand all men cheat. All men won't cheat on you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And okay. By the time you get to them, you in a different stage of your life. Okay. Okay. I can see now, that. Now, all great men, how many Nobel pieces, uh prize pieces did Martin Luther King have? A couple. Yeah. He was a notorious cheater. Yeah, he was. He was. Okay, but... <laughs> That's Martin Luther King. He got a day. He got a street in everybody's city. <laughs> Great men. Hand in hand. We shall overcome. And you mean to tell me we going to judge him because he wanted some coochie to go? <laughs> no, yeah. I'm so sorry, but this is funny as shit. Because Martin was knocking them down, knocking them down. He had Coretta. He had Gertrude. He had everybody in there. That he did. He, he did. No, but that shit for them. Don't breathe. You can't talk about Martin Luther King. You feel me? <laughs> Hello? Hello. Hey, baby, how your mama doing? Okay. Okay. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here for the sweet talk, honey. Hey, mom, this is how I talk to uh, women. I'm sorry about that. But my issue is, you said that instead of her getting her lip back, she could have chose to leave. Absolutely. Correct. Yes. Why would like why would that not apply to you before you thought about cheating on her? Man. Should you not should you not have sat down and talked to her and said you were unhappy? Knowledge went to college. You, you see that, that that's what you're thinking. See when you getting ready to go do your your dirt, you unhappy. We man, we can go over there with a heart full of joy. Why do you assume that that man was unhappy? And then think about it this way. Let's do it your way. Hey, you know what? I'm for the break up with you for some cooch I ain't never had before. I'm just for the listen. Hey, baby, I'm having urges. I'm I'm sorry this relationship over. I think that'll do more scar to you than actually than him actually cheating. He left you on a possibility, ma'am. You'll be devastated. You know what? Ooh. But I'm to pick myself and pick myself up and dust myself off because I would rather you make that decision before you get my feelings involved than to get me into a relationship and then do me dirty like that. Okay, man. I mean, I get it. I understand. All right, you have a blessed day, honey. You too, man. Y'all, listen, I know the real, y'all don't like it because it ain't too many dudes that's going to tell y'all the truth. But I'm telling y'all, a lot of y'all will be devastated if your dude broke up with you for some pussy he ain't even got you. And, you know, and the thing that make this 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 conversation, because tomorrow is going to be part two of this conversation, and we're going to have another man. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you different perspectives from all men. So I know you might be a little frustrated in the comments, but see what you guys to under, what you got to understand that there are men. This this is this ways of thinking, and and these that's why these are the conversations that you got to have in the beginning on that first date. Instead of inviting niggas to your trauma and telling them what the last nigga that did to your feelings and shit like that, hell no, don't tell them none of that. These are the kind of questions that you got to dumb down on, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, because they're out here lurking. They're out here lurking. They're out here. <laughs> okay, we got a call. Hello? Hi. Hey, darling, how your mama now? 
Everybody good? Okay, what's going on? This is how I feel. I just feel like with men, they think they got a magic stick and no other like no other man can please them or oh okay. Um, I put it down so good she shouldn't want to cheat. The same way whoever that was that said about the twenty two year old man, you think this only pussy she finna get? I mean he finna get. You think it's on the dick she want for the rest of her life? You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. It worked both ways. No, no, it absolutely do. It, it ain't outside of the norm for a woman to go cheat neither. I, I'm not I'm, I'm I'm not saying that that don't happen. I just want to say, it is if if you cheat on me, if my wife ever cheat on me, just do the due diligence to make sure it never get back to me. I just feel like, and and I get what you're saying, but I just feel like men think they the only one that can literally put it on and oh, this woman she got to be satisfied with this forever. The same way a man wants some, a woman wants some too, and I just feel like that is selfish to say, oh, okay. Um, you leaving our kids or you leaving the relationship, you should be able to take care of your kids whether their relationship work or not. I get it, but so, so taking care of kids outside of the home is, I feel like, a real burden. Now, now just think about it. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Mm -mm. Okay. So, so check this out. It's so easy to be a parent when all you got to do is go down the hallway to interact with your kids or to call them in the room to interact with your kids. But to get up and drive 30 minutes to an hour across town, like that's something you got to really think about. And mu as much as you love your kids, like you might love your mama, but some days you don't want to get up and drive 30 minutes to an hour to go see your mama. But so that's different. Your it's different. Not in the world, you brought them kids in the world. They didn't ask for that. I get it. My mama brought me in the world. I'm thankful for my life. But it's just 30 minutes to an hour. 30 minutes to an hour. Bro, Money. that is, bro, I'm just saying, 2K, that got to be the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard in my life. That's the choice that you made. And see, this is the thing that's pissing me off a little bit. It's the fact of the matter is, you made the choice to have to drive 30 fucking minutes, my nigga. If you chose to cheat and it got back to the wife, because you said as long as her wife, your wife do the due diligence, it don't get back to you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But it got back to her. You feel me? Uh -huh. the, the same thing that you want. You like, listen, bro, I'll probably be able to take it if, if I don't know nothing. But now she knows. She forced to know. Now, listen, let's also be real. Her job, I heard you say earlier today, that is 50 for 50. No, it's not. A woman's job being a mother is 100%. Let's start there. Even if you contribute, you will never do the day ins and the day outs of the shit that the mother is that, that, that the children need, especially if you're that man who's supposed to be providing like you say. If you're that man that's making sure that you taking do that you you paying for everything, nine times out of ten, you're probably doing twenty percent of what you need to do for these children. You know what I'm saying? When they run and jump on your lap, you hey son, blase blah, hey, go get your mama. I guarantee you you're doing twenty percent. So let's start. She's eighty. Now you want this eighty percent woman to now be at 60 because she didn't find out some shit that you should have did in the first day and you just want her to be able to sustain see that's where it just don't be adding up at because at the end of the day before you gave any woman your seed right you made a conscious decision to say hey i didn't held my nut this long everybody ain't finna get my seed whoever i give it to whoever i give my seed to she's got to be the one that i'm willing to marry I'm willing to be with, I'm willing to say, ding, ding, even though I know I didn't fucked a lot of pussy and I know I'm going to have temptation, she's the one that I'm going to be committed to for our children, for us. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like when you, when you make it about you, it's when you change the dynamic. You do. You the one that stepped out. You the one that left. So why the fuck do the dynamic got to change now? Because you fucked it up. Now it's we. Now it's our. Cause you wanted to do it. Nah, bro, that don't make no sense. You made a choice to put your to, to nut in her and to become a father. When you become a father, there's just gonna be certain sacrifices and responsibilities that you're gonna have to be willing to make, just like Mama do. Period. Listen to. It. 
And you can say all that. You can tell me how it should be. I'm going to tell you how it is. All right? That's crazy. If you, didn't, if you didn't have your parents in the house, you didn't see them every day. These are facts. And I'm telling you, these, these reasons do factor into it. That nigga tired too. He probably got paid child support and try to get the money he lost back from the child support check. I he is being held accountable for his decisions. The government is going to make some, and I'm pretty sure mom is too. So instead of him seeing that child every day, it turned into some every weekend type stuff or two weekends out the month type stuff. Mm -hmm. But let you can tell me how it should be. But I'm gonna tell you how it is. No, I mean, and that is facts. I mean, I, I mean, you can't deny the facts. You can't deny the facts. And that's why it's a great conversation to have this conversation with you first because I think a lot of times women do, we do, we get caught up into this fixation of what we think our relationships and shit supposed to detail. These is the niggas who you need to know that's out there lurking. They lurking. <laughs> the motherfuckers out here running rampant. I'm just being real because it's fucked up. <coughs> it's delivery. Maybe y'all. They out here. He's. I mean, if, if it's going to be some truth to anything this man has said today, there's men like him that's out there. And My these dude. are sometimes the men that you're bumping into and in starting relationships with. And now mm -hmm. you're getting a glimpse in the mind of a man. So make these choices wisely. Two. It is two times. We're going to have another point of view. You know what I'm saying? We're going to actually have three points of view, three different men. Part two will be tomorrow. Today was with 2K. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to have different points of view. We're going to have different men. So, yes, you're going to see it. This was the first one. And you two, know what I mean? You, yeah. It's two type of dogs in this world. Facts. Okay. It's the shit soup. No, it, it, it's the poodle and the pit bull. That's what I'm going to say. The poodle okay. and the pit bull. Okay. Because you, you, you thinking that I am a type. It's the pool and the pit bull. Let me help you understand the two. Me, I'm more of a pit bull type. I, I growl. I drool. I let you know for a fact. When you come up to this gate, I'm going to bite you. Okay? But then you got the poodle. The poodle is the dude who you think are the other type. Them the dudes that going to come in soft-spoken, know how to say stuff real nice, make it sweet for you. And as soon as you get up to the gate, guess what he do? He bites your ass too. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm So the end results are the same. How we get to the how you how how, how you get to get bit is the difference. It's the poodle and the pit bull. Y'all should appreciate the pit bull more for telling y'all what you was gonna get into before you got into it. And that's what's up. Yo, y'all got it, man. It talks with 2K. Make sure you subscribe to all platforms, bro. You ain't got to like it, but sometimes that's the truth. Bro, I appreciate you for tapping in, man. I'm going to fuck with you later on tonight on Twitch. I've been seeing your ass on Twitch, too. You feel what I'm saying? Talks with 2K. Make sure you go over there and subscribe. Family, Yo. appreciate you, family. All right, my G. All right, dog. Hey, man, listen, 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 listen. This is a great discussion. And um, I knew it was going to be a great discussion. And we're going to have a lot of different points of view. Excuse me one second. I'm coming back over. Um, we're going to have different points of view. And you already know I'm going to have different perspectives. So um, we got two more. We're going to have two different men. So don't get mad. You feel what I mean? These are the people that's out here, you guys. You feel what I'm saying? And, 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 and we can't get upset when, 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 when we are confronted or when we are face to face with the people that we sometimes are in a relationship with and don't even know. When y'all go on these first date, ask different questions. Do not invite these dudes into your trauma. Do not give these dudes a blueprint of what to do. You feel me? Like, go ahead and you got to start asking certain shit because there's certain things that you will be able to uncover if you did just that. This was a great, great show. I know that we went over a little bit, but it's okay. Um, It was too good, and I just goddamn wanted to do it. Uh, Blossom Fosa, me too. You feel me? It's like I'm in a conversation, but I'm not really in a conversation because I don't deal with no men's. I don't have to deal with none of that shit. But listen, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen in lesbian relationships. Let's be real. It does. But the fact of the matter is men do have a different mindset sometimes from women. And um, we got we to gotta understand that. Um, Jay-Z also cheated on Beyonce. So let that stick in. 
You feel what I'm saying? There's no caliber man. There's no caliber woman that can escape sometimes the inevitable. And a lot of people think that sometimes we're going to live in this fantasy world to where we're going to get this person and things like this don't happen. It does. And when it does happen, what are you willing to put up with? What are you willing to say are to? And how long? You feel what I mean? Um, great, great conversation. I love these type of conversations. Bro, we have to have these conversations. We do. Um, growth on our behalf is knowing what we don't want in our relationships. You know what I'm saying? And if some of the things that were said today was something you don't want in your relationship, there you go. You're almost there. You know what I'm saying? Growth works. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I do family. I'm gonna be back later on. You know, we got reactness going on, and I'm doing 30 days of two on stream, and I've done every day so far you feel what i'm saying i'm sticking to it y'all i am hey make sure you uh tune in to bella and toot you feel what i mean we got vlogmas going on over there today is day nine so make sure y'all uh y'all tune in um make sure you tune in to the viral uh paint and sip that we're doing on the channel um tap in with toot follow my twitch we on the road to 3k over there go over there and show some love man just send me a sub I'm trying to get the 3k subs on the 20th you know what i'm saying we got the uh we got the uh ugly christmas sweater you feel what i mean get you a sweater from walmart and get all of the trinkets you're gonna put on it we're having an ugly christmas sweater contest and we're doing it virtual the ugliest sweater wins the pot you know what i'm saying or whatever so tune in then if you participating in the secret santa you know what i'm saying we're gonna be here on the 21st you know what I mean? Come on there. We're going to have the live reveal. I think we had like 40 people participate. So it's going to be real lit. So come over there and join and have a good time. If you're celebrating the holidays, you don't really got family, bro. Tap in over there to suit, man. For real, you got family. We having fun. We playing games. We just doing a lot of shit. So if you having a little bit of the holiday blues, come over there and join my Twitch. It's a vibe every time. You feel what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody for tapping in. I appreciate 2K for pulling up. I appreciate Jay for calling in. I just appreciate y'all, man. Listen, if you're going out holiday shopping, please be safe, bro. They out here lurking. You feel what I mean? People is out here trying to get a quick buck. Be alert. Do not be on your phones coming out the store. Look around. Call them from the car. You feel what I'm saying? Lock your doors. I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all later on. You feel me? Peace.